Hey guys, so I was welding along and you know it was kind of weird because every now and then it wasn't welding right. You know, it was like there was no shielding gas. You know, so I thought, well, maybe because I was doing a little welding upside down and I thought, well, maybe I just need to increase the speed. You know, I did that, it didn't make a difference. I was like, you know, some welds turned out great, some welds were crappy. I was like, there was no shielding gas. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I took my machine apart, you know, I go, well, it's it's five or six years old now, I think. And I was like, man, is the is the solenoid bad, you know, that sends the gas to the machine, right? Is the when you hit the trigger on the gun, is it actually actuating the solenoid? So I took the cover off and there's a little clear line that plugs in there. And I basically pulled the little clear line off. I had my gas turned on. And every time I hit the trigger, I could feel the gas coming out of the solenoid. So I know it wasn't the solenoid. Check, the, you know, check the connections, did all that. Blew air out, cleared out the uh, connection for the solenoid. Um, you know, that goes the line that feeds the solenoid down to the gun. You know, it's just a clear little plastic quarter inch tube. So I blew that out just to be safe, no change. So then I decided to pull the gun out and see what was going on. And let me flip the video around. Now I've already fixed it, but let me show you what I found. And this is probably, this is a good potential um, for your issue too. And you may be losing gas and maybe you're like, man, my welds aren't the greatest. You know, they got a little porosity in them or something. This may be what's going on. So hang tight, let me flip it around. I'll show you what's happening or at least what happened to me. All right guys, so now we're inside the machine here. And this little nut right here, this is your liner that threads into your gun cable, okay? And so basically, this liner came loose. And it wasn't until I took this out that I noticed it that the O-ring on the end was not sealing. And this had actually unthreaded all the way. So it was, I had to basically re-thread this end back into the end of the cable gun. Um... You know, I had to kind of like take it, thread it, and then like flip the gun handle around and everything a few times to get this thing to actually thread in there. But once I got it in there, I made sure she was nice and tight. I probably should have put a little blue dot of Loctite on it or something. But basically what was happening is there's your gas line comes in basically right here. And then, it you know, there's a couple of O-rings on either side that it feeds, you know, and goes out. But down here, there's an O-ring too. And basically once this unthreaded, the gas was more or less coming out and just going, psh, you know, right out the gun here. So make sure this little guy is tight. Um, you know, this could be the cause of your porosity of your welds if this starts loosening, or if it has loosened all the way, like in my case, you don't get any shielding gas. And then you get crappy welds. So that's what I found. This is just a short little video, guys, to let you all know what I found on my MVP that caused my problem. Hopefully, it's as simple as that for you. You know, if you start having, like I said, poor porosity welds or just no shielding gas whatsoever coming in. Because I even changed out the regulator thinking, oh, something funny going on with the regulator. It's still no change. So, you know, I tried a couple things, you know, before I went, removed the cover and uh, checked it out and inspected a few things and then that's what i finally found anyway lesson learned hopefully uh this helps you um you know in your endeavors and uh it's like i said it's a quick fix if that's what you guys find thanks for watching we'll see you on a future upload